Hi, I'm Ashley, the owner of Curated Care Crates, and I want to make a small video about why we started our company. Uh, about six months ago, my cousin was diagnosed with ovarian cancer, and it had spread through her body um, quite a bit. And she had to go in for surgery, and she was going to be in the hospital for a while. And I have two kids, so I couldn't go visit her. And I wanted to send something um, to help. And I couldn't find anything online. I looked everywhere. I, I found a lot of cookies and teddy bears and balloons, but I couldn't find anything that was just helpful, things you would actually need in a hospital. At the same time that my cousin was in the hospital, my boyfriend's dad also um, had gone to the doctors and they wanted to do a biopsy on his lung. And they said he was gonna be in the hospital for a few days. And he had already been in the hospital for a while um, with pneumonia. And I felt so bad and I was like, you know what, maybe they don't have anything here, but he lives in the UK, maybe they have something there that's useful you can send. And I couldn't find anything there either. And it sat with me, like I was really upset about the fact that I couldn't get anyone anything helpful. Like, how could this not be a thing? Because everyone's in the hospital at some point. After I decided that this is what I wanted to do, I started talking to families of people who um, were patients and they said, you know, we were running out a lot, getting them this and that, because something would come up that they wanted. And so we built these crates anticipating what those needs and wants would be. So it's things like robes, like chapstick, like toothbrushes, hair brushes, earphones, earplugs, things like that that would help someone just feel human in a time where it's really hard to feel human. When we were talking to all these people about what would be best in these boxes, we started realizing that people can use these boxes for a lot of other reasons. Just if you're sick at home or someone needs extra help or they're going through something, it's just a universal want. Not even a want, it's a need that people have these core things that make them feel human in general. Once we got us all a list of what people requested most, we started figuring out how we were going to sell these. So we came up with two different options. The first one is curated boxes. So there's an activity box, a cozy box with just robes and cozy things, and then scaling up bigger boxes with things like nail clippers and toothbrushes. And then also we decided that people should be able to curate it themselves and figure out exactly what they want. So the other option is to create your own box. So you can go through our website, and click the things that you think someone would need or that you would need. Here's where I need your help. We started an Indiegogo campaign to get this business off the ground. The way it works is we have six crates available on our Indiegogo page, anywhere from our $30 activity crate all the way up to our large crate with everything in it for $225. If you could like this video and share and go look at our page and maybe pre-order a crate for yourself, or someone else, or just to keep in your closet for anyone who might need it in the future, that would be amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching.